Yo, Rob Mob! What's going on, guys? This is it. This is legitimately it for me for Hidden Fates. I got three of these tins I'm going to open up, and I got two box collections. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with it, they're the Walmart boxes you can get. I got two of these. Three tins, two of those, and that's it. Like, my shiny Charizard hunt for right now is going to be over, and uh, it's a bittersweet moment. <laughs> First of all, it's, uh, it's sweet because I could potentially get the Charizard. It's bitter because if I don't get the Charizard, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. So, we all know how bad Hidden Fates is, or how hard it is, I should say, to find in the stores. So, being so that uh, this is it for the product, I may not be opening Hidden Fates for a while. Now, I do have my Elite Trainer box behind me, but I'm not opening that anytime soon. Unless, potentially, we can get some, uh, some Elite Trainer box during that reprint run. But, yeah, guys, this is pretty much it. So... <laughs> Let's get some fire emojis in the chat. Let's get some four-leaf clovers because you guys know I need all the help and all the support and all the best luck wishes in the world right now because it's been a lot of packs. It's been a well over a thousand packs, guys, in this journey for hunting that shiny Charizard and we just can't seem to nail it. But no, 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 no what's going on? We got Michelle hanging out. We got Blistering Rage ga uh, Gaming. We got Justin Tritt, Larson, Static, Dragon Ball, Dan, TCG Authority, Yizzy, Keegan, bunch of y'all hanging out right now so i think i'm gonna open one and then uh one ten one box one ten one box and we'll end off on a ten if a bunch of you guys end up showing up in the live i may or may not crack a champion's path etb see if we can get maybe another charizard potentially probably not and uh yeah so maybe unbroken bonds as well i got a couple of those extra so should be a fun stream i do want to crack open a bunch because i really haven't cracked open some stuff for myself they're really cracking it for uh, box breaks and whatnot. So I want to add a little bit more spice to my collection. Guys, we're going to start it off right. We're going to start it off with a Charizard 10. This is the one we're going to crack open first. And legitimately, I don't know. If I were to pull a Charizard out of this first 10, would I keep the other one sealed? I don't know. Maybe I would. Maybe I wouldn't. But, yo, this is stressful. <laughs> this is stressful because... Legitimately for like the last three weeks. I've been going to Walmart's. I've been going to targets I've been searching around for this stuff and to no avail. I have not found anything not one piece of hidden fates uh, Product out there. It's been a struggle and as if you guys can see it is the, like the last print run They just recently did we know that because they changed out the Plastic part in here that was ruining these promo cards with this nice little cardboard piece So it's a lot better for uh, the card quality if you will it doesn't jam up in those plastic sleeves like uh plastic inserts whatever you want to call them as we saw before so yo this is legitimately it i'm getting i'm getting butterflies <laughs> because i'm not gonna go out i mean let, let me be honest with you guys i'm not gonna go out and i'm not gonna buy you know these tins like 40 dollars they're going for 45 dollars. i'm not gonna pay for one tin for the price i can get two potentially retail yeah i know hidden fates is like kind of on this last leg we don't know if we're gonna see a lot more of it especially with shining fates coming out but I'd rather test the waters, test my luck, and see if I can uh, get it somewhere else for a halfway decent price lease, right? I don't want to go ahead and spend all that money. So, Chris Larson says, show us your tins. Nolo Dolo said, let's get that Zard. Dude, I hope, man. I hope. Can we get them early? Can we get this done and over with? Can my collection be finally complete with uh, with my master set? Uh, we'll only find out by opening up these packs. So we're about to crack into them right now, actually. Right now. We already got the first pack open. Uh, I'd honestly would keep it sealed. Yeah, you would. <laughs> uh, that would be insane. It really would. Major Zeal, YouTube, what's going on? I'm off to bed. Good night. Good luck. Major Zeal, thank you so much, man. Thanks for popping in for a couple minutes, man. It does mean the world to me if you do. Ooh, am I flashing a little bit? I think I am. On my end, that noise from above. Ooh, it's, well, it is going to be, oh, no. It's a little just a hollow top bleed, I guess, if you will. But dang, well, one pack in, and we are just... How legit would it have been if we cracked that first pack open and just pulled it and was like, okay, well, that was fun. <laughs> That'd be wild. Static said, yo, you got this, Rob. Man, I hope this. I, I, I hope it. I hope it will happen, man. I really, really do hope it will happen. We'll see, though. Yo, Dan, how it goes? Dan the man. Pop it into live stream, man. What's going on, Dan the man? And, yeah, I'm going to show all the code cards in here. So, if any guys are working uh, or jump, jumping in here to go ahead and get some of the code cards, they will be in the live stream. So, eat them up, man. Use them all up. Catch him 1122. What's going on? Rob Mob. What's going on, dude? Glad to have you popping up in here. And uh, maybe you are uh, going to be that lucky sauce that gets us that Charizard. I was hoping to just get it then. feel like I'm going to say that man or that Pokemon, that man, that Pokemon name 
a million times today. I'm gonna say Charizard every single pack because God, man, I'm 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 a little bit I'm a little bit nervous. Let me not lie to you guys. Let me not even lie to y'all. Rob, I hope you pull it, man. I almost want to buy this just for you. <laughs> no, j Dop, it's all good, man. I'm going to go out there in the wild, and I'm going to try to find some more as we see a little bit more products stocked up. We got that third wave of Champions Path going to be hitting that those retail stores. Uh, some have already in some areas. So I'm only assuming, I mean, it's just to guess that we're going to see some more Hidden Fates with that because that's kind of what the thing, the, the theme has been lately is every time Champions Path hits a store, hey, let's go. So we got a sh uh, Metang. Little baby shiny action, we'll take it. And no double bang, we'll take some metang. But uh, yeah, every time Champions Path, I feel like, hits the shelf, so does a uh, Hidden Fades something. Something, something, something. Got that band. Jeff the Rev, good luck, Rob, dude. I need all the good luck in the world. I really, really do. Because this is it, man. This is it. I actually popped into a few videos the other day, and I've seen, I saw some people uh, pull Charizards. I'm like, yo, I mean, I just, under, I just don't understand. I just really, really just don't understand what's going on in my life over here. Golem and a Giovanni's Exile. Let's go. I'll take a little full art, Giovanni. I do have uh, a million and one of these, but a full art is better than no art, in my opinion. Let me go ahead and sleep these two guys up. So what's going on, guys? What's cracking up in here? Are you guys having a good day, a great weekend? Are you getting your Christmas shopping done? Are you getting your Christmas shopping uh, list made out? Are you guys going to get a bunch of Pokemon cards for Christmas? What is going on with that stuff? Because I know what I have planned for Christmas. And it's going to be a lot of poke. It's going to be a lot of mon. So, uh, Static says, speak it into the universe and it will happen. Rob will pull the Zard this stream. Dude, that'd be wild. I'm going to open a, a, another Ryuchi box here. So one tin, one uh, Ryuchi box. We're going to just make some moves with this. j Dop said, never look on the weekends, at least in my area. Weekdays are bad. I agree, j Dop. I know the target in my area usually stocks early in the morning on Thursdays. So yeah, weekdays are definitely better. Everybody and their mother has their weekends off and they try to uh, get to the stores ASAP. So yeah, you're right. Weekdays are definitely better. What are we doing tonight, Rob Ma? Dude, we're opening, I want to say a ton, but it's not really a ton. It's like 20, 20 packs of Hidden Fates legitimately because the last stream I did, I opened 50 or 60, give or take a few. And uh, we got some monster hits. I actually have not done really anything with those hits. They're kind of just hanging out sleeve ne right next to me. Yo, let me get some fire emojis if you guys actually want to see what I pulled in the last stream. Because I know a lot of y'all were, were not there for that last stream. And if you want to see those cards I got from those double blisters that were uh, exclusive to Canada, man. They were just super fire. This is some of the best pulls I've gotten in one, one span of like 40 packs. It was insane. You still need that Zard, dude. I need every bit of that card, man. Every bit of that card. It's Taco with the Flames. Just the Ref with the Flames. Zap uh, Pokemon with the Flames. No little deal. All right, man. So let me go ahead and pull this pack, and I'll show you guys because I got it right next to me. It was uh, it's, it was completely opposite of what's happening right now in the beginning. The exact opposite, guys. And, uh, yo, it was just absolute fire. Check this out, guys. Check this out, Rob Mob. You're going to be like, whoa. So Riot GX, Glaceon, we got that one super early. You can't go wrong with the Evolution. Then we got the Mewtwo Full Art. We got a Tapu Koko Gold. These are all coming from the double pack blisters that are exclusive to Canada. Third party package by MJ Holding Company. It's crazy. Espeon, we got we we know that's a super popular card. Lycanroc, the better art of the two in this set. Greninja, Pokemon of the Year. Wild, wild, wild. Another Riot Chu and some baby shinies here along the way. It's not a Hidden Fates opening unless you get the birds, of course. Got a Mewtwo GX, another Cartana, Baby China. Guys, this came from legitimately like 50 packs. I mean, 50 packs, we just kept pulling some just major heat. And uh, it felt like it was never stopping. So I don't have much ambition for these boxes I have here. It's, it's just not going to add up to what happened on that stream, guys. It was just insane in the brain. Giovanni's Exile and, yeah, that card there. So... Wild, wild. I actually was happy that I got that Espeon too because uh, I bought mine. I bought my Espeon for the for my master set. So now I have an Espeon that I'm going to potentially send out to get graded eventually, which should be awesome. So first thing, guys, this is what came out of the first thing for just popping in. We got a Giovanni's Exile and we got a Metang. We are in our second box now because we moved on to boxes. Next one will be another 10. And uh, hoping for the best, though. Let's get it. Uh, Nolo Doe said, yo, I pulled an Espeon GX2 just the other day. Dude, if you're going to pull an Evolution, it's usually Umbreon and Espeon that are the moves. I mean, there's some high dollar cards too, those Evolutions. Especially if you can get them at a PSA 10, you're looking on some money. Kevin said, hey, thanks. <laughs> nice hollow. 
Wow, third party bangers. Yeah, those third parties, man, were unreal. I was, I, you know, I couldn't believe it. Chancy, yo, what is going on with these just reverse hollows? Stop the madness. Stop the madness. I feel like all the luck is in the Mewtwo packs. I never get any luck in the Birch packs. Love Hidden Faith. Me too, Beast Alice. It's a, it's, like I said, it's a bittersweet moment for me right now. Because, yeah, it's great. It's sweet. I'm opening up some Hidden Fates. And I can't open this pack for some reason. I'm, uh, I'm opening up some uh, Hidden Fates, but I'm also pretty much out of Hidden Fates. So just that bittersweet moment for me right now. Why don't I do that in the first place? Just let it slide out the bottom. Uh, yeah, here's a code card for y'all. So it's kind of, you know, just one of those things. Just one of those things, man. <laughs> I told Chelsea, too. I was like, yo, I'm going to open up some, I'm some Hidden Fates tonight. She's like, what? The rest of your stash? I'm like, yeah, I got, I got to get into it. I got to get into it. I got, ooh, another rock buff. Let's go. Baby shiny double banger. Now another R buff. Uh, yeah, I, I got that. I got the itch, right? I got that taste of Hidden Fates the other day where I opened up Hidden Fates, uh, those, those 50 packs in the last stream. And I was like, man, uh, I got to get back in there. <laughs> I got to get it back in there, Rob Mob, and I got to open up some more Hidden Fates. I just can't sit here and look at that product stay sealed. It's got to get open. There's got to be a Charizard in there, right? So that's the model for the day. It legit happened at 1230, that thought process. I made that post and a lot of you guys responded with some positivity. It was like, heck yeah, dude, get on that live stream and open up that head and face. So here we are. We are uh, cracking it wide open. Pulled my Zard from the birds pack. You never know. Yeah, you don't, man. You really don't. I'm just being superstitious right now. <laughs> You've inspired me to open more, dude. Super Smash, dude. Open up fire. Let's go. Can we see some fire in the uh, next packs we open? Let's go ahead and sleeve that one up and put it up top and uh, hope that it's the Lucky Charm. It summons the Charizard, if you will. Come on, Fire. Summon that Charizard for me because we know we need it. Yeah, Super Smash, get after it, dude. Get after those Hidden <laughs> Facts. No, no, stop. Let me let me not uh, let me not be that be that bad influence on you, man. If you want to leave it sealed, definitely leave it sealed. God Pack Taco. God Pack Taco. Oh, let's see. I bought a Japanese booster box of Shiny Legends. Let's go, dude. Are you going to open it anytime soon? Or are you just staring at it with just pure uh, <laughs> pure violence, just ready to rip into it? Or, you know, what, are we, what, do you, what do you plan on doing with that uh, box there, Taco? Put that promo over here. There's that code card for y'all. And our next four packs... Charizard up top. Let's see what the pack would choose. Double Charizard, Birds, and Mew. Double Charizard, Birds, and Mew. Man, dude. God, legitimately, I keep looking down, and it's just getting thinner. I mean, we have been live for 13 minutes, and I'm down to these four packs and two more other collections. Like, I need to slow roll this a little bit. I'm just so anxious to get into it and just kind of get it over with and pull that thing, right? The only fire you're allowed to pull is it's already yeah, plenty of everything else, dude. Listen, Grage, I agree, man. I agree. By the way, guys, yo, let me go ahead and mention something real quick before I forget. Uh, because I, I am a forgetful person sometimes. If you guys want to get in on the pack break that I got going on Monday, uh, the 14th of December, right? It's going to be Unified Minds. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's $7 a pack. You can get them on the, uh, the Pokeshop website right now. So definitely get out there. Get yourself a couple packs. And then following on the 28th, Rob, now we're going back to Charizard hunting, but it's going to be Champion's Path Charizard hunting. So if you don't have that card from that set yet, we are selling packs for the 28th as well. It's going to be $7 a pack for Champion's Path, and we're going to try to see if we can get some more Charizards out there. I pulled four Charizard uh, on the channel for, in the, uh, for people out there in the Pokemon community. So I'm trying to go ahead and hook some of y'all more up with some Charizards. So if you want to get after those Champion's Path, buy them up, get some Unified Minds, and... Uh, Let's see here for another six hours. I've opened a bunch of packs and hopefully pull some more heat. So I wanted to put that out there before I forget because I know I'm going to forget. I just do that sometimes. Bizal said, I bought a shiny Charmander off eBay but got refunded because they never sent it. What? I love the shiny babies in Hidden Face. Dude, that shiny Charmander too is going... I mean, Charmander and the Charmeleon are going for quite a pretty penny. Especially out of PSA 10. I don't blame you for wanting to buy that up off of eBay. It's a spicy, spicy card. <laughs> I want to open, I want to open. Dude, catch my hearing on that. Double Zard! Oh, man, that'd be nice. Mew is a fun Pokemon. I actually just joined Just Pokemon Funds. Oh, man, yo, this box. Please don't let it be a dud. I mean, please. Like, Mighty Arceus, do not let... Arceus, I say Arceus all the time. Arceus, do not let this last pack be a dud. Please, man. Please, at least a full RGX out of something. Um, so the Mew, we were talking about Mews. Yeah, I just got, I just joined Joseph, Just Pokemon's Box Break, man, or, uh, Blister Break of Evolutions, which is awesome, and I got that 
holographic Mew, which I don't have and I wanted. I got the reverse the other day from my Evolutions ETB, and I was happy to get the Hollow too. So those will be a nice addition to the collection. What do we got? Yeah, everyone pick up some packs. It will be Friday as long as it doesn't sell out. I agree. Yeah, it'll... Uh... Wait, wait. Friday, Friday. I missed that. I missed that. I was going to say mine is, mine is on Monday. That might be a different one. Uh, how do you guys think ETB sleeves are fine for sleeping cards and diviners? Yeah, for 100% they're Bezalis. That's why I... Oh, my God. The duddest of all duds in the box. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's deflating right there. Let me go ahead and catch up on chat, guys. I only got two of these products left, legitimately. I got this Gyarados box, and I got uh, this Riot tin. So I may probably more than likely crack into, like, an ETB of Champions Path because, like, why not? If y'all are going to hang out, I'm going to open up some. And if you haven't smashed that like button, please do. That will help out the stream just a little bit. Uh, what do we got? So, yeah, dude, I like I like using the ETB sleeves for my binder. That's what I use 95% uh, of the time. Sometimes I use penny sleeves, but mostly it's just the ETB sleeves I put in there. I like the quality of them and think they protect the cards pretty well. Yes, I'm going to pick up some packs. It will be Friday as long as it doesn't sell out. Um, I sleeve whatever, whatever I fit in my binders double, though. I hear you on that. Most Ultra Pro sleeves fit nine page sleeves. People need to hit that like button ASAP. Super Smash Pokemon. I appreciate that. Did I open a box collection last? Let me go ahead and just start opening this one here. Uh, I just thought of something. Imagine Secret Santa with a bunch of Poketubers. That would be cool. It would be pretty awesome, man, to have a Secret Santa with a bunch of Poketubers. Just crack that ETB. We know this art is in there. Dude, I'm not cracking that ETB. I can't guarantee that I'm going to get one of those ETB reprints. And uh, that's the last thing, you know, I want to be like, dang, dude, I cracked that thing open. I can't believe I did it. Rob, I jumped to that pack break. I ended up being able to buy two packs myself. He pulled me the reverse water energy and Gyarados. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Can't go wrong with that. I don't know why I showed that off. You guys know what that card looks like. Blister Rage, my, my small circle is doing that. All right, that's some talking between the chat that I'm missing out on. Smash that like button. Summon that czar. Let's go. Let's definitely smash that like button. Let's summon that czar, man. We uh, we need every bit of that thing. Every bit of it. We got every single pack artwork in this one. Nice. <sighs> what do we got? Dude, shirt is neat. Thank you, man. I got this one. I forgot where I got this shirt, honestly. I don't remember. I don't remember where I got it. I got my first secret Santa from Maiku. So secret. Ooh, nice stuff. Uh, Static said, I love Unified Minds. I just ripped open an ETB of it today. Dude, I haven't opened a Unified Minds ETB in a hot minute. Like, quite a bit of time I haven't opened up one of those. Uh, Nat Ketchum said, love your stuff. Wish you luck, my friend. Nat, thank you so much. I need every bit of that luck. Let me not even lie. I need every single bit of that luck because... Uh, yeah, that card eludes me. I mean, if, it's gonna, if, if a card eludes me, it's that one. There's not been a card that I've wanted more, and I think that's the issue. The more I think about it, the more that I want it, the more that it, it you lose me. And I don't know how much more interface I can open. I'm trying to get, go ahead and get that thing. Listener writes to ETB, ETB. Yeah, dude, can imagine. <laughs> I can't do it, man. I can't do it. Like I said, if I can maybe get some potential, yo, these freaking packs are duds. I mean, I guess the Gyarados is not a dud, but like, how many of those do we actually have? Quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, if I can potentially get some of those uh, reprints, I would definitely tr consider opening up that one behind me as, like, some kind of special or whatnot. I uh, I think it would be well worth it. Swami, good night, amigo. I don't know if he's saying good night to me or good night to the chat, to you guys, or if he's saying to good night to somebody in particular. But, Swami, if you're a leaving man, thanks for popping in and hanging out. Means the world, my friend. Yeah, Blister Rage, you ain't lying. <laughs> No low bam. I smell GX, dude. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Psyduck, man, in a Butterfree. Yo, what's going on with this nonsense right now? I'm not even going to show the last energy. Oh, man. This is tough, ain't it? This is really tough. Pokey Chill. Hey, what's going on, Pokey Chill, man? Glad to have you poppers in here, dude. Uh, what if you do get another ETB and you open that and he's in there? Imagine all the money you could have saved. You know, I probably would have bought up Hidden Face. I know I didn't open it just because I could. I probably would have saved about 25% of what I have spent on Hidden Face. <laughs> to be honest, man. But yeah, that would have been wild, right? If he's in there the whole time. That's just, you know, one of those running jokes that I have on the channel. Is that that thing is just behind me the whole time. And uh, waiting to be pulled. I swear, y'all. If, if we get another dud box or collection i'm gonna lose it i'm just gonna lose my mind yo what's going on with this nonsense 
I'm not telling anyone on the live stream, but I'm going to go ahead and bust open the Hidden Fates Gyarados box at the end. A little sneak peek for anyone in here that's going to be there. Catch him. There he is. There he is. Going to open up some Hidden Fates, man. A little, little sneak preview there. Always good stuff. All right, guys. Here we go. Cold card for y'all. All the good cards are in the ETB behind you, man. Stop. You know I'm not going to open that, that thing. I don't care how many times you say it. I'm not going to open up that thing. Oh, man. Do we got at least one GX in here. Uh, all right, shiny ball. It is a baby shiny Ryalu, man. Another baby shiny. We have gotten no full RGXs at all. Jesse and James holographic, of course. We got one box left. We got one box left. That's crazy. That's crazy. Baby shiny Ryalu, guys. This is it. Like, this is my last box here. Insane in the brain that this is my last box. So, I'm not ready to open this yet. <laughs> Yo, we've been streaming legitimately for 20 minutes and have burnt through all of the packs I've had. So I'm not ready to open up this Gyarados box yet. I'm gonna open up something else in the meantime, guys. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna open yet. yet. You know what? I should probably even just pick up this thing. Let's open a little bit of Unbroken Bonds. Let's chill out for a little bit on the Hidden Fates. I know this is mostly, it was going to be a mostly Hidden Fates stream, but we burnt through the packs. So let's open up these Unbroken Bonds. If you guys haven't seen my video with this stuff, this actually pulls uh, some heat out of here. I've gotten two Full arts. I got green explorations and I got that Gardevoir and Sylveon hyper rare out of these. So they're not bad. They're not bad. And I feel like every time I say that salt product is not bad and then I try to promote it or get it out there as, you know, my my stamped check mark next to it, I end up pulling a bunch of duds. So uh yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. Camacho three 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 one four. <coughs> Let's try that again. Camacho 333, what's going on, dude? Glad to have you popping in the stream, man. He said, hey, Rob, do you know what time the raffle for the SBA 10 is happening? Camacho, so that is going to happen tomorrow. Um, yeah, the live's going on tomorrow for that on NC Packbusters channel, right? So they're going to do the blister break, and I don't know exactly when they're going to do the raffle, if it's going to be in the middle of the stream, in the beginning, or at the end. But it's definitely tomorrow. I thought it was going to be today, too, but some things happened over there at uh, NC Packbusters' side. And uh, I didn't ask too many questions, but it's going to happen tomorrow. So don't y'all worry. Those of y'all that bought the raffle tickets to get into that and helped out the charity, first of all, for like first and foremost, thank you so much because that's very awesome of you guys. And yeah, that uh, oh, we got a hit, a little uh, Volcanian. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be live and in your kitchen tomorrow. So y'all get ready for that. Uh, we got come on, y'all, smash that like button, represent the Rob Mob. Let's go, guys. Definitely smash that like button. It'll help out the stream just a little bit, right? Uh, I love that card. Which card? Which card did I go through that you love? I missed that. I missed that part. Hey, Unbroken Mods. Unbroken Mods is not a bad set. Yeah, you got that rainbow. Yeah, that rainbow was wild, man. It was It was, It was. was nice to have. I have one more of those, but uh, that one I'm nice enough to get great, great. It was in pretty nice shape. Uh, what do we got? I saw a good chat here. I, I just made a 1200 offer on someone's collection on Craigslist. Ooh, there you go. What uh, collection is it? Ooh, Arbok, not holographic. What collection is it? Is it going to be uh, just a mixed collection? Is it a Hidden Fates one? Is it, you know, anything in particular? So, always curious to find out. I need to open some. Which one there? No, little doll. You need to open up some Unbroken Bonds or Hidden Fates. I need to open up some Hidden Fates, to be honest. But, like, I'm, I'm, I'm running. I got one more box left, and I'm trying to slow roll it. Everybody's leaving. They're like, you know, you know, screw Polish Rob, man. He uh, he said he was opening Hidden Fates, and he burned through in the first 20 minutes, and I don't want to see any more. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I know it's all good. I know we all got stuff we got to do on on, uh, on a Saturday. I don't expect everybody to hang out here for the whole time. If you guys give me two minutes of your time, that's all I really ask for. So thank y'all so much. Just Pokemon Fun said, bro, thanks for stopping in. I didn't get a chance to tell you. I grabbed the Sword and Shield Premium Collection box. Let's go. And if you don't find one, that I can get that one for you. Just Pokemon Fun, thank you so much, dude. I actually have one on standby. I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and open it or leave it sealed. I haven't bought it yet, but my card shop does have that me, uh, for me on the side. So eventually, I'll pick it up. It just haven't been something that I've been ambitious to get right now. Uh, mainly because I think I'm just going to leave it as a sealed collection. Uh, it is quite an expensive product to just rip open unless you can find two of, right? Uh, if anyone can do it, it's Rob Mob. Dude, Tom Bison, you ain't lying. You guys are honestly one of a kind, man. Uh, the best the best community out there in the world, so I appreciate y'all. Let me go ahead and put this in front of the camera. Uh, hanging out, man, and dropping them likes and dropping, the, uh, dropping a bunch of chats. 
Hidden Fates. I got that itch. No, Dolo, dude. If you, I, I don't know how much you have or if you have any, but if you can get a hold of some, man, best of luck to you, dude. Let's, uh, I hope you do a lot better than I have on that Charizard hunt. If you can get out of your first pack, dude, I'll do a backflip. And I promise you, I don't know how to do a backflip. Uh, just made it in. Don't mind me, Tom, dude. It's all good, my friend. Glad to have you popping in here and hanging out. I'm opening up some Unbroken Bonds as a halftime show, if you will. We still got another box of Hidden Fates. Bear with me, but it's my last one. And it's just nerve-wracking that it's pretty much it for me. Uh, for now. For now. I'm not saying that I'm done with Hidden Fates. It's just I can't find Hidden Fates. I'm there in the same boat with you guys. It's a tough find, and uh, I'm not going to pay $50 for 110 So, yeah. <laughs> if I can't get it out of here, it's pretty much uh, it's pretty much a no-go here for quite a bit of time. Uh, they had some Steam Siege, bunch of mix. I saw some shiny Kabutops and an 8 base Charmander on there. There you go, Poke Chill. Dude, I hope it's a smash the collection. You get some hidden gems in there. Those collections, honestly, if you can go ahead and buy them up or find them like garage sales, have some of the most unique and best items in there. It's just digging around through there. And it brings back a lot of nostalgia and a lot of fun. I get people message me on Instagram with some of those finds they have. And honestly, it's like, whoa. I wish I was there at the right place at the right time to find something like that. Dang, Unbroken Bonds boxes. Y'all freaking, they're, they're tripping right now. They're not They're not doing that good. Uh, I got to go shower. Might be back later. If not, bye. Everyone. Listen to Rage, man. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Much, much appreciated, man. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. And if you uh, if you miss out on the Zara, trust me, I'll be posting it everywhere, dude. <laughs> but I have a uh, I have a feeling it's just not gonna happen. Poker Space said, "Yo, what's going on, Poker Space man? We're taking a halftime show with some Unbroken Bonds uh, because my first few oh man, these Unbroken Bonds have been rough too. My first few boxes and tins have been duds. We got one left, dude. Like this is it. Four packs. It's either gonna happen or it's not." Uh, all we've gotten from our or uh, tens and boxes earlier, which I think we opened what four, was that that this thing, that thing, this and that. Nothing really to rant and rave and go freak out about. So here we are. Slow rolling this last box because it's either all or nothing. I mean, it's legitimately all or nothing, and uh, it's making a little bit me a little bit nervous. So nervous that I just keep opening up unbroken bonds. That's how nervous I am right now about opening up that thing. Alex Lodur said, yo, man, sub, good, good stuff. Love the content. Cheers, Alex, man. Appreciate that so much. Thanks for popping in, dude, and watching uh, this halftime show, if you will, with Unbroken Bonds, because I'm very nervous to open the last box of my hidden face right now. I was hoping I can get it out of the way with the first few that I opened. It did not happen. I didn't even get a full RGX. So I'm just kind of panicking with a little bit of Unbroken Bonds and not having that much luck with it either right now. When I first got back into Pokemon, fell in love with Unbroken Bonds. Now Cosmic Eclipse has my attention. Cosmic Eclipse is a great set, a fun set, and I recommend everybody open up some Cosmic Eclipse in their life. Only bad thing about Cosmic Eclipse, it's not really a bad thing, if you will. It's a huge, massive set. So if you're a master collector or, you, you know, you like that kind of stuff, it's, uh... It's a handful. You're going to end up buying a bunch of cards to go ahead and complete it because pulling all of those cards seems almost next to impossible unless you're willing to drop a few thousand dollars. And even then, you can't guarantee every single card from that set. It's so big, man. It's absolutely massive. Uh, I sent you the gems I found. Let's go there, AB. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did. You did. Yep, you're exactly one of the ones that sent me uh, recently the gems that you found, man. That base at two jars hard was spicy. All the other stuff, man, was awesome, too. You uh, can't go wrong with that kind of stuff, dude. Can't go wrong. Uh, even if it's not in the best shape, right? Even if it's not in the best shape, I mean, it's still that nostalgic feeling. It's still old, you know, 1999, 2000, 2001 card. So, yeah, it's great. It's Taco said, I got that Rylu too. Yeah, the Rylu is great, man. It's great to pull, but when you've pulled a couple of them and you're looking for that freaking fire-breathing dragon lizard guy and you can't get him, uh, <laughs> the Rylu doesn't look that much appealing. But... I eventually got a few that I need to send in. Oh my gosh, man. Four grading. All right, last box of Unbroken Bonds, guys. I'm probably going to go ahead and stream just for an hour. Just for an hour. So we are at 30 minutes right now. We are uh, flying through some packs. Uh, just been fun. Good luck, bud. Huge set. And it was very close to being done with tons of secret rares left. I have half of them. There you go. Yeah, it's just a massive set, man. It's very hard to complete. Pokemon said, y'all enjoying the content, bro. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much, Pokemon. Yeah, thanks for popping in. Ooh, I'm flashing a little bit. It's not a hyper rare, but it's going to be most likely an ultra rare. Don't know which one. Y'all put your guesses in the chat. 
And, uh, oh, okay, I'll give you another hint because I just saw it. It has a little green border to it. I think I have an idea of what it is. But y'all put your guesses in the chat. Yeah, dude, good luck on that box. Let's go, Charizard, dude. One box left, guys. One box left. We're holding out for it. I'm going to open up these Unbroken Bonds. I'm going to open a Champion's Path Elite Trainer box right after this. Then we'll get into Hidden Fates and we'll call it a stream, guys. So bear bear with me on slow roll on that one because I am very nervous. My heart is racing a little bit. I got the... Oh, there it is. Formosa Ultra Rare. Nothing crazy, but not a bad thing. Not a bad thing to get Unbroken Bonds. My heart's racing a little bit. I'm a little bit nervous. Let me not even lie to you guys because, like, you know. I mean, it's the last hidden face I got right now. It really is. No, but they were in good shape, though. Yeah, dude. Honestly, they were. From what you sent me, man, they look uh, they look really good. Can't, can't complain at all. Cannot complain. Uh, Rob, show me how to open a Gyarados box. <laughs> well, you just take it right here and just, just rip it wide open. Uh, Pokeball TV, what's going on, man? First time seeing you pop into the chat today. He said, Polish Rob, how would you feel about doing a pack battle with me? Right now, Pokeball TV, I am holding off on pack battles just because I have a lot of content that I'm already tied up with uh, with other creators and lives. And uh, I just got a lot right now. And work. I do work a full-time job. You know, I mean, I wake up 6.30 a.m. And sometimes I get back 4 or 5 o'clock p.m. Then I get back home. Then I got to shoot a video. And it's pretty much bedtime. And I do it all over again. So my schedule right now is super, super tight. And I don't want to make any promises over live stream. Just because I don't want to disappoint anybody. But maybe down in the future when things die down a little bit, uh, I would definitely be willing to do a pack battle. Just not yet, my friend. Inky, Darmuka, and a Rhyperior non-holographic. Dang, man. Dang, dang, dang. Yeah, just a bunch going on, guys. Just a bunch. We got a bunch of blister breaks coming on. And those are going to be long streams, big pack openings. And I got to do shipping and stuff for that. So it's a lot. It's a lot going on. But I'm happy to be sharing with you all. And hopefully you guys like what's going on as well. It's, uh, you know, it's a great, great journey, and I appreciate you guys being here every step of the way. AB said, and I found a set of unlimited Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur. Let's go, dude. You are smashing it on that vintage game right now. Chris Torres, what up, Rob Ma? What up, Chris, man? feel like I just talked to you, I don't know, like 15 minutes ago. What's going on, dude? Uh, those of y'all that are just popping in, listen, I got one box of Fate of Fates left. We burned through the other four stuff that I had in the thumbnail, if you guys saw it. Burned through it, and we got a bunch of bunch of kind of whatever, right? A few baby shinies, a GX, a Fire NG, Giovanni's Exile. Nothing crazy, no full arts. So this box for me is it. Like that's it. Like finito, done, donezo, no more, nada. And uh, <laughs> yeah, dude, it's crazy. It's crazy because I'm not gonna get any time uh, that anytime soon. So I'm slow rolling it. We're gonna open up the thing of Champions Path, ETB. I know you guys would probably enjoy some of that. And get to that box eventually. I'm glad that the other stream that I did where we opened up like, what, 40 or 50 packs of Hidden Fates was an absolute banger with some of those pulls, especially those evolutions, because it's making up for every single thing that I'm not getting out of these boxes right now. So, well worth it. Like I said, guys, Blister Break coming up. Unified Minds, December the 14th. Don't miss it. There's I got 300 packs that I'm going to be opening up that stream, so guys, definitely get in onto it. We're going we're gonna to make a lot faster work of it this time than we did last time with the Vivid Voltage. And then after that, on the 28th, is going to be Champion's Path packs. We got 300 of them coming in uh, on my end to open up, guys. They're going to be $700 or $700 a pack. <laughs> Could you imagine, though? $7 a pack, guys. So definitely get on those. Get your chance to pull that VMAX or Shiny V. Like I said, I pulled four for four different individuals. Just Pokefun is one of them. That was part of that uh, break. That we did it was an insane night the hit ratio was 33 percent to pull in the charizard on my channel during that pack break so get an awesome champions path and try your hunt at that shiny charizard v and that charizard v max it can't happen guys it's possible and i want y'all to go ahead and celebrate that with me in the chat so get on those breaks hydro uh uh if you guys are familiar with that website if you're not let me know and i will try to go ahead and type it in the chat so you can buy up some packs and let's get that full arts art. Let's see what the centering looks on that. I think it's going to be pretty, pretty good. Here we go. Top to bottom, guys. Uh, not too bad. Left to right, not too bad. It really means on the back. Uh, not too bad, guys. Yo, that looks really, really good. That's a potential PSA submission for me right there. Trying my luck out of 10. Not saying I'm going to get it. Not saying I'm going to get it. But there's no corners and no nicks. It looks great, guys. Looks absolutely chef's kiss. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? We got a bunch of people popping in right now. 75 y'all. Yo, thanks for popping in, guys. If you want to smash that like button, please do. It will help out the stream a lot. 
Uh, Pokeball TV said, and I actually just saw you. You were streaming. Yeah, dude, it's it's a bunch going out right now on the channel. But thank you for understanding Pokeball TV. Really, really appreciate that, man. Hey, Hart, what's up, Rob? Hey, Hart, man, I feel like I was just talking to you in the stream on Yizzy's just the other day, man. Glad to have you popping in. There it is, Golden Wardle, guys, with the uh, website. Click on that. Go get some packs, www.hydropokeball.com. Pokeshop.com. Don't mind me. I talk like I have marbles in my mouth. It's just who I am as a person. And uh, yeah, so guys, buy it up right there if you want. And uh, you know, get seven dollar champions pass pack for the twenty eight, or get seven dollar chip or uh, unlimited, unlimited, unlimited unified minds pack, guys, for the fourteenth. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a long stream. I think I'm gonna start at noon this time. That way, I'm not up till one o'clock in the morning opening up packs. Because, yo, eating that hot chip, if you guys missed it, man, just go into my last box break, or blister break, I should say, with Vivid Voltage. From the front, go all the way to the end. And if you guys want to see me do the one hit, uh, one chip challenge and burn my face off at 1.30 in the morning, it was a struggle. <laughs> a, a big struggle, just because, one, I was tired as heck. Two, uh, yeah, it was just tough. It was tough. And, um... It was for a great cause, though. We raised $600 for charity on that stream. So as I promised, if I raised $500 on that stream, we were going to go ahead, or I was going to do the hot chip. You guys were not going to do the hot chip. And we did. So I'm a man of my word, and we did the hot chip at 1.30 in the morning. It was absolutely insane. Tucker Novak said, kind of digging this channel. I'm going to be coming back. Dude, Tucker, man, thanks for popping in and for the kind words, my friend. Glad to see a positive response to what I got going on here during this live and videos in general. Thank you so much, man. I'm going to pull these to the side. All right, so hidden fades, guys. Like I said, if you're popping in for those, I opened up four. We got a bunch of duds. I got one box left. Legitimately, one box left in my collection. I have a hidden fades ETB, which I'm not opening up because I don't know if I'm gonna get the reprint stuff. So there, this is it. Like this guy right here is my last four packs. It's either gonna happen or I'm gonna cry. So one or the other is going to happen at the end of the stream. Either I'm gonna get up and then celebrate, or I'm gonna sit back down and put my head down and shed a tear or two for you guys. It's just what it is. Uh, Camacho333 said, PSA 10. Dude, that tr that full art charger did look like a PSA 10. It looks pretty, pretty spicy. By the way, I have a spicy, super spicy submission uh, that I sent out. And once I get my return, I'm not going to tell you guys when. I want you guys to stick around for that video, man. But it's going to be a super spicy return. And I guess a little spoiler, it's going to have Charizard in it. So I know y'all going to want to see what kind of grades I can get on those. Although, PSA, we know that's a little bit of a funky bunch right now, so I may get it back seven years from now. We're not sure exactly when. Just PokerFun said, bro, craziest opening ever. What Rob chooses to do is save his fire pulls for the breaks, crazy champions pass pulls, then just the crazy eight-hour Vivid Voltage pulls. Yeah, man, we got the Chunky Chew and the Vivid Voltage. We got four Charizards and Champions Path. The Blister Breaks right now have been insane. We've gotten all the chase cards in them. And uh, what an experience, man. What an experience. And those of y'all that were in there, man, I hope you guys get those. I, I hope you guys got the cards already. Uh, if not, ooh, there we go. A little Gardevia V. We'll take that. We'll take that. But you should be getting them very soon. So I hope you, every, each one of you enjoy that. I know the Champions Path ones have been received by everybody. But I don't know about the Vivid Voltage ones yet. All right, let me go ahead and catch up on some chat here, guys. Best Pulse said, what up, Rob? Best Pulse, what's going on? I didn't want to put that there, but that's fine. Best polls, what's going on, dude? Glad to have you popping in right now. Malloy, what's going on? The hunt continues. It does, but we're taking a, like I said, I don't know if you just popped in or if I went through my spiel, but uh, we're taking a a, a halftime show, a break, if you will, with Champion's Path because I got one box of Pin and Fates left. So, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm very nervous. AB said, the one chip sucks, man. It's pain. Dude, you have not lied yet. It was very painful. I didn't think it was going to be as bad as it was, and it was every bit of bad as it says it's going to be. Uh, it was a rough go. It was a very rough go. Here, so for those of you guys that have not done the uh, the one chip, I'll go ahead and open up this pack and explain how what happens. First, it goes down, and you don't taste anything at all. It's just a bland taste. You don't feel anything. You're like, oh, okay, well, this chip is not what it's hyped up to be. Then, you get the hiccups. The hiccups really sucked. That was very bad. I haven't had hiccups in, I don't know, 10 years or so. It's I can't remember the last time I've actually had a span of hiccups, and it happened during the one chip. So that sucked. Then my throat got really scratchy because I had to swallow the chip, so that kind of sucked, and it hurt on the way down. And then it was like an atomic bomb 
just blew up in my stomach, rushed up my throat, and went straight to my ears. And I had this ringing sensation in my ears for a good solid eight minutes. And every time I decided to try to talk in the live stream to tell about what was going on in my body, I just couldn't muster up words. It just was bad. It was it was rough. And that was my one trip experience. <laughs> After about 15 minutes or so, though, like everything started to cool down. I was able to start talking in the chat again, and we ended the stream uh, shortly after. But, yo, that one chip for that little old thing, man, it, it's an absolute uh, firehouse, man. Firehouse of heat. It was uh, a heck of experience. If you guys... Oh, let's go. Fist pump. Hop. Let's go, my friend. But uh, if you guys have not tried it, I recommend not trying it. <laughs> Unless you're into spicy stuff and you think you can handle it, then give it a whirl. But, yo, that thing was absolutely bonkers. Bonkers, bonkers, bonkers. And then, stay tuned, because I got a hottest chocolate challenge as well. I got this one a while ago. It's just kind of sitting in the fridge. I might do something Pokemon related with the hottest chocolate in the world. That's what it's called, and I want to call it Bluff and try it out. So, we'll see, man. Get you. What up, Rob? Mob. Hi, Rob. What's going on, Get you, man? Glad to have you in here. We are... I know what the thumbnail says. Guys, don't rip me a new one. I know what the thumbnail says. I got Hidden Fates. I got it. It's my last box. I ripped through my first part of Hidden Fates early on in the stream. In the first 20 minutes, I ran out, except for this last box. And I'm nervous to open it up. So we're kind of just milking, uh, milking it. But, but, I'm opening up Champion's Path, which is not a bad set. It's still a fun set to open. So bear with me, guys. We are, uh, we're going to get to that eventually. I think I'm going to kick it for about another 30 minutes or so. And we'll open that thing to finish it off and call it a stream. So those of y'all that are going to hang out and want to see that open at the end, thank y'all so much, man. And if you, even if you hang out for a couple minutes or so, just say hi in the chat. And that means the world to me, too. I know we have busy lives, and uh, we can't make them all. So it is what it is. Instant pain for me on the tongue, AB. <laughs> Lumberjack, what's going on, dude? Bro, Steelix V is my enemy in Viv Voltage. Pulled 25 so far. Ooh, You always get that card, right, in some kind of set. They just steadily pull, and you just don't understand why. I know uh, one of the guys in the community, Epic Tube HD, man, that has a channel himself. He's pulled 15 to 20 hops. He legitimately has two sections of his binder filled out with nothing but hops, which is, uh, yeah, I mean, which is what uh, it sounds like. So, rough stuff, man. Uh, Derek Heat, we made it. Let's get this channel raw. Derek Heat, man, I actually was just talking about your Charizard pull the other day. Or actually that I watched yesterday, man. That was absolutely insane. I'm trying to go ahead and fall in your footsteps and get it myself. But it's just not happening right now. I opened up four stuff. Four stuff. Four boxes. Uh, two being boxes. Two being tins in the beginning. I pulled a bunch of duds. So here we are struggling, my friend, to try to get it. I got one box left. One box left. I took an intermission with some unbroken bonds. And uh, now I'm taking an intermission with Champion's Path. And we're going to get into this right towards the end of the stream. And see if we can test our luck. For the final time in quite a bit of time. Mally said, I ate ice cream right after. It's it's Devil's Nuts five stages. Dude, it kills. It's a killer, man. But it was worth it. It was worth it for the experience. On top of that, like I said, we raised $600 for charity. Guys, for those of y'all who donated and got to the raffle and donated to charity, yo, big shout out to you guys. That was absolutely amazing. Those, those, those veterans and those kids are going to be super thankful for that $600. And I know they're going to put it to great use, man. They can use every single penny. So big shout out to you guys. Without y'all, that would have never happened. And good luck to you on that charge with Raffle PSA 10. It's going to be bonkers for whoever wins that. That is a spicy, spicy card. Eat the chocolate tonight if you get the Zard. <laughs> Yo, I swear. that that's a, that's a deal. I will legitimately eat the world's hottest chocolate in the world if I can get the Charizard out of Hidden Fates in those last four packs. That's not even a joke. I will legitimately do that. 100% well worth every single bit of my time to do that. Uh, come on, said 100 likes and you'll open it, dude. <laughs> dude, man, I hope, man. I really, really hope. Guys, we're uh, we're wearing thin, but uh, like I said, I want to keep it for at least an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and open up another Hatterny box to get a little bit more Champions Path out of the way. And then I know we'll finish off with that Hit of Fate stuff. So don't y'all even worry. Kevin said, pop into my live if you're free. If you're free. Catch him for sure, I'll pop in. Just let me know what time you're going live. And uh, I'll pop in there for a little bit because I will be making uh, a cleanup session in here since I did open a ton of stuff. And uh, got to tidy you up. So I'll have you up on my computer, man. Chilling like a villain. Uh, MN said, good luck. Thank you, MN. Like I said, I got one box left. Legitimately, one box. That's it. 
left. Here it is, live in your kitchen. I am very nervous to open it. Very, very nervous to open it. And we're just, uh, we're just holding off on it for just a few more, a few more minutes. A few more minutes and opening up some Champions Path on the way. Shotgun Master 2029. Why do I find unboxing Pokemon so satisfying? Dude, it is quite, quite satisfying. It's one of my favorite things to do it. And honestly, it would not be as favorite for me as a as a hobby and as something i do if i didn't share with you guys and doing lives like this man has been an absolute blessing and the more that the rob mod grows and the more that you guys pop into here it's absolutely awesome and just motivates me man to keep going live and just hanging out and doing the thing with fellow like-minded people in the community it's awesome awesome stuff oh man these had any boxes has anyone in the chat gotten anything good out of these had any boxes because i have not i haven't opened a metric ton or anything like that i've opened like four boxes but has anyone gotten anything good? Because my luck is just bad with these hatteries. Oh, and your last box is Gyarados box too. It's happening today. I hope so, man. I hope so. You got yours from a box, which is which is mind blowing to me. I ripped eight hundred dollars worth of cards when I was in a bad mood, dude. I've been there. I've been there, Maloy. I, I have been there, my friend. Sometimes it's just it's just one of those common things, right? You just chill back, relax, open up some packs, and uh, there's not a a a bad time when you're opening up Pokemon cards. Even if you don't get a, the greatest pull in the world, just opening it and relaxing, man, is just just absolute fire. Falcons Gaming, what up, Rob? What's going on, Falcon, man? Glad to have you popping in here, my friend. Let's go, everyone. Smash that like, Camacho, dude. Thank you so much. By the way, guys, like I said, get in on my Unified Mind break. Get in on my Champion's Path break. One's going to be on the 14th, Unified Minds. The other is going to be on the 28th get in on that right now let's pull some chargers let's pull some mewtwo's let y'all get uh you know get the cards that you want in your sets ah oh, man and if you're for that live like if you buy into the break and you join that live i want you to call out the cards that you want me to pull it seemed like with vivid voltage every time somebody called out a card that they wanted to be pulled and i said it it happened it happened more than 10 times in that stream it was a little and as i was talking about the card it just appeared it was quite uh, interesting. Very interesting, to say the least. So, <clears throat> what do we got? Uh, catch him say he hasn't gotten anything at a hat any box. Dang, dude, that's unfortunate. Can anyone find Champion's Path? I've seen that it's been more available in stores. I haven't even found anything in my area. I actually went to Walmart today, and it was a bunch of uh, tumbleweeds hanging out. So I had a good chit-chat with them. And, uh, yeah, there hasn't been anything really that extravagant at my Walmarts. It could be different in locations. I wish I lived in a smaller town. That way I could have that potential chance because not a lot of people in that area trying to get that stuff. But, yeah, is what it is. What do we got, guys? We are 50 minutes in. We, we still got we still got to milk it. We still got to milk with some more Champions Path. Uh, J-Dog says, so what's that stream going to be like tomorrow with the raffle and Burning Shadows pack? J-Dog, so they will be going live with those Burning Shadows packs. Um, I think I will make a post if you guys don't follow me on social media Instagram or Facebook or Twitter I will be making a post so definitely follow me on that about when they're going live I'll talk to uh, Adam tonight at NC Packbuster and get a exact time Actually, Adam is in here too If he could post the time that they're going live for everybody that wants to get in uh, Watch their breaks and watch that raffle for that Charizard uh, Post something in the chat dude about what time it is so that way everybody's going to be Aware of what's going on, and then I will as well post out my social media platforms. <clears throat> uh, who do we got? Who do we got? At Poke Space, what, what did Poke Space say? I missed that. I saw so much Champions Pack yesterday at Target, and I was like, nah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't bought really any more Champions Path other than what I already have. Other than that, it's pretty much sell, uh, sat on the shelves for me. Mainly because, not because I hate the set, I love Charizard hunting, it's one of my favorite things to do. It's mainly because, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for here? I want to leave stuff on the shelves for the individuals that were not able to make it out and get those sets and really had a hard time finding it. So, and it doesn't seem like it's being scalped as much. Uh, people are looking for Vivid Voltage stuff now and give those opportunities to those individuals that can, you know, that haven't been able to open it. Frederick, what's going on, dude? Glad to have you in the live stream. I bless you with the Charizard Luck, Rob. You deserve it, man. Frederick, thank you so much. Thank you for the kind words. And I hope we can make that into a reality, my friend. I hope we can make it into reality. I have seven cases of ETBs. I'm just hanging on to. That's uh, seven cases. Holy smokes, Pokey Space. That's right, though. You buy and sell Pokemon cards. So it makes sense to have seven cases, dude. But uh, yeah, dude, I, I don't blame you, man. I got I got some ETBs, too. I did just open up one. I may open up one, a few, like as a treat down later down the road. 
But mostly I'm just going to sit on them as well and just hang out with them. Uh, can't see me. Oh, can't see me. I like that, man. I like that a lot. Can't see me said I opened my first two EDPs, Champions Path boxes. One of them had the Rainbow Zard. I was so hyped. Let's go. So you're saying, you're saying that it looks something like this, dude. Join the fam, my friend. That's awesome stuff. Like I said, guys, if you want to pull that kind of card right there, join my Champions Path ET or ETB opening. Join my Champions Path uh, break pack opening on December 28th. It's going to be a lot of fun. And if you want to pull the Mewtwo, potentially, join the one uh, on the, what, 14th? 14th. What do we got? Rob Mom must be getting it all around here. Dude, the Rob Mom hasn't bought a bunch of Pokemon product in quite a minute, my friend. Stop and pop. What's going on? Never got anything from Had Any Box so bad, I was afraid they were all resealed and returned. So, so the thing, pa, Stop and Pop, that happened with the Had Any Boxes, they had a manufacturing defect, and the glue just was not enough on the boxes. And... They were restock or stocking them on the shelves, I should say, and all the seals were just cracked open. Yeah, it raised a lot of awareness for potential repackaging, but they were legit. I actually opened up one of those myself just to find out to see if it was going to be a repackaged product. And no, I got a good pull out of it. I think it was a full art, was a full art hop or something like that I got of it. So obviously it wasn't repackaged or resealed or anything like that. It was just a matter of fact of having just bad glue all over it. Trubbish. Oh, let's go. Dreadnought. All right, so pop and stop. Yo, we got something out of the Hatterene box. We got the Dreadnought. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, this card is like worth maybe like 10 or 15 dollars. It's nothing crazy, but who does not love a hyper rare in their life, right? Uh, I really enjoyed opening Viv Voltage. Such a great set. Pokemon, you are legitimately on the money with that. It's a fun set to open. And if you can get that Chonky Chew, dude, that's just spicy, spicy stuff. So. Cannot go wrong with that Chonky Chew. Uh, Nolo Dolo said, my local target limits two items per customer for Pokemon. Yo, I've noticed that a lot of targets actually have been doing that because of the scalping. Uh, I don't know how well it's enforced. I know they make an attempt. I have huge Pokeballs, maybe Zach shot. Well, dude. Oh, man. That, that was... You got me, my friend. You got me on that one. Uh, Justin Trish said, I found Vivid Voltage Beetle Boxes at Target today. There you go. A little... little uh, Ladybug action there in those boxes. Making the bacon. What's going on, dude? Does anyone know how much Hidden Fades usually sells for at a store if they are in stock? $20, dude. $19.99 is what these typically sell for if you find it at Walmart. Uh, Target as well. If you find them at a card shop, they usually up the prices a little bit. Um, and if you buy them online, they're going for like $50, which is mind-blowing to me. All right, guys. We're getting close to that hit of faith, man. We're getting close. I, uh, I'm going to open one more pin collection because I'm nervous, yo. I'm nervous to open up this freaking uh, thing, man. I'm very nervous to open up my hidden fates box because it's the last one. It's the dang last one. Uh, J Dog said, oh, so the Burning Shadows opening is on N NC Packbusters channel. It's good to know. I would have been extremely confused. Yeah, J Dog, it's going to be on NC Packbusters. That is their blister break and that's where the raffle will partake in so definitely join them on that and like i said if the golden water is still in here if you can go ahead and post what time it is if he does not then i will post it on my social media just follow me on instagram twitter facebook whatever you prefer and i'll have them on all three platforms but when they're going live with that stuff pokespace said y'all if you ever need champion's path let me know i can get it there you go if you guys want some uh champion's path pokespace some sealed product go after that my friends uh, AK 47 or said what up my dog AK what's going on dude glad to have it popping in We're gonna open up this last last pin collection of champions path and then I'm gonna open the final box I have of hidden fates. It's going to be done and the czars is either gonna happen or I'm legitimately going to cry But either or it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's never a bad day when you're opening up Pokemon cards So here we are doing it right now right here in your uh in your phones, tablets, or PCs. <laughs> uh, Hunter Bowman said, I work at Target. The same people come in every day looking for new stuff on shelves. Shelves are pretty dry. And yeah, had we had a couple of Champions Path boxes on the shelf sealed, but only but with only two packs. What? That's crazy, Hunter Bowman. But yeah, dude, that's what it seems like. I mean, everybody... Um, the same people go and check now. Necessarily, they might not be scalpers. They could just be Pokemon enthusiasts. And they haven't been able to get products, so they want to check every single day to make sure they get something to take home with, all right? 
Uh, Jack Sotwell said, if there are no animals in the Pokemon universe, where does their meat come from? Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, Tactical Flamingo, yo, what's going on, Tactical? Glad to have you here hanging out for the live stream. Listen, we are opening up the last of the Champions Path pin collection. After this pin collection is done, I'm getting into that final box, guys, and we're going to call it. Going to get into that final box. And yeah, and see what happens, guys, and see what happens. Just, just not ready for that chocolate. <laughs> Dude, I promise I will eat the world's hottest chocolate today live on this stream. I will get up and go get it if I pull that shiny charger from Hannah Fakes. It's a 100% promise it will happen. Zach, maybe people eat Pokemon. Ooh, interesting. That's an interesting one. Maybe they're all vegetarian. Maybe they're all vegetarian. Well, then again, Oddish is screwed, right? <laughs> if they're all vegetarian, Oddish is absolutely screwed. Uh, Brian Gutierrez said, I pulled two Rainbow Rare VMAX Charizards and had any boxes in a Marnie box and it was my first time opening Champions Path Pack. Brian, that is one of the most bestest, I know it's not the world, bestest feelings in the world to pull the chase cards that early, man. If I can do that every single time, I would save so much money on Pokemon, it'd be ridiculous. <laughs> I would be saving so much money, but it is what it is, man. I always love lo opening up packs and just kind of hanging out. Uh, and man, watch out for the Air Pack Champions Path that comes with six hollows, one regular hollow. Its first card is reverse hollow if you got that Air Pack. Ooh, that'd be spicy to show off on the stream if it happened. Uh, I just opened some Champions Path and got a full art V. Let's go. Which full art did you get? Which one, Thieves Frost? Austin Q, you'll be crying happy tears with a Zard in the hand. I have to dude. Uh, with a Zard in, a, in my hand in a sleeve because I don't want to shed no tears on that Zard. Uh-oh. Do we got something? Woo! I think it's going to be a hop. I think it's going to be a hop. Uh, save that pink collection. Those are hard to find. Oh, it is a hop. I called it. <laughs> oh, and a fire energy that I missed. Let's go. Sometimes I miss those cards, right? Yeah, I just wanted to open up that one, man. I, I just wanted to open it. I want I want the pins on the side, too. I like to, I'm going to put them all in a big mason jar and just kind of have it. I like displayed in the background over there. By the way, guys, yo, let, no one's even said anything yet. Maybe because it's dark, kind of. But, like, check it out. Check it out. Christmas spirit. I hung Pokemon cards. Uh, some reverse hollows along with some, uh, you know, some other normal Christmas decorations on the back. To get into the holiday spirit, man. So, I'm glad to have that. And, no, I didn't do it myself. Chelsea definitely helped me out. So, big shout out to her for... Uh, for helping me up set up those lights in that tree and whatnot. I was not the sole proprietor of that situation back there. But I think it looks great. Uh, shave your eyebrows if you pull it. Kyle James, I'm going to eat the world's hottest chocolate live. Like like right now. If we pull it. So this is it guys. I'm going to open it. I'm officially going to crack it. Let's go full screen cracking it right. Because this is the last one I got. This is legitimately it. Yo. Gyarados man. Gyarados. Don't shake your product because you could ruin the cards. <laughs> it shakes product. Oh, man. Rob, you still missing that Rayquaza in Vivid Voltage? Get you. I still am. Aside from that big blister break that I opened, you know, for, uh, for y'all, with y'all, um, I haven't opened up any more Vivid Voltage for myself. It's just been from that. So, yeah, I'm still missing, but it's all good. I'm not I'm not pressing to get it. I will eventually. Uh, it's just uh, I've been wanting to open up this, uh, you know, this Hidden Fate stuff. This Hidden Fate's business, if you will. So, last four packs. Yo, let me get... Some fire emojis. Let me get some four leaf clovers. Let me get whatever emoji you want to choose to put into the chat. I need all of it. This is it, man. This is it for me. That's it. That's it. Unless I find some more randomly, which I'm probably not going to because we know how bad the Walmart shelves are right now. The Target shelves are, are abysmal as well. This is it. My last four packs of Hidden Fates. It's a sad day. It's going to be a bittersweet day for me. One, sweet because we opened up some Hidden Fates and we did get some okay pulls, especially the other last year. If you guys missed that out, it was absolute fire. And it's going to be bitter because if I don't pull the Charizard, it's going to be very, very bitter. Let me go ahead and summon. Let me go ahead and summon some friends from Hidden Fates, guys. Let me go ahead and summon them real quick. Bring them over here for all the good like vibes. If you guys missed my last stream, this is what we got. These are the pulls we got for my last Hidden Fates opening. It was about a two hour long stream. We opened about... 50 packs of Hidden Fates, and we got some good stuff. So let me summon all of my friends for this last four packs. And uh, we need a little bit of that guy right there, right? So let me go ahead and summon them up real quick, show y'all what we pulled that last stream, and 
essentially get all the good luck in the world to uh, get the shiny charger, man. So this was a lot, man. This is a heck of an opening. I can't believe that out of 40 packs, like this pretty much happened, right? There's all my full arts, Espeon, Tapu Cosmo. Like, it was just crazy. <sighs> Nerve wracking. If you guys are just joining, make sure you smash that like button. Uh, and make sure you just drop some emotes in the chat. Spam the heck out of the chat right now. I don't want to see any words. I just want a bunch of emojis in the chat right now. I need all the luck in the world. So here we go. Here we go. I summoned two Charizards. They're not the shiny ones. They're the uh, plentiful ones out of the packs. And let's see what kind of artwork we have. Two Mewtwo's, one Mew, and one Charizard. This is it, my friends. This is it for me right here. This is it for me. I'm going to save the Charizard artwork for last. I'm going to put, put a Mewtwo in the middle. I'm going to put a Mew there. And I will go with a Mewtwo artwork to start off with. Here we go, guys. This is the moment we're waiting for. The last box officially. Can it be done? Can that Charizard be pulled? Will we celebrate or will we cry in defeat? This is that moment, Rob Mob. And uh, I'm hoping it's not the cry of defeat part that I just mentioned. So here we go, guys. Here we go, man. Thank y'all for being here for this. Thank y'all for being here for this moment. Because uh, i rather not... I You are honestly the best, best, the best Rob Mob out there in the world, man. I can't think of another group of individuals to share this moment with being my last freaking box. Let's go. Jinx, Magmar, Broxgrit, Eevee, Caterpie, Paris... Psyduck. Oh my god, the first one. Yo, if I had some kind of programming to put a big X across the screen right now, I would. That's one pack down. We got three more to go. Mew. How do you do, my friend Mew, man? Can we can we summon some luck out of the Mew? I'll hold mine in my hands while I open these. No, no, Dilla said, I see something. I saw something too, but what we saw was that reverse, man. Dang. Get you said, bro, you can have my Ray Quasin cards from Vivid, Vivid Voltage Pull the other day. George G, Larry Chan, to keep it going. Dude, get you. I appreciate that, man. I really, really do. But we sent the cards out to you already, my friend. You'll be expecting them here very soon. But thank you for that thoughtful gesture. It really does mean the world for me, man. Thank you so much. All right. Here we go. Yizzy with that super chat. Let's go. He said, for some juicy luck, smash that like, guys. Man, Yizzy, appreciate that, man. Let's go, guys. Here we go. <sighs> Pokemon Center Lady, Clefairy, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu. Oh, boy. All right. Yo, it's full art. <laughs> I didn't see any, any legs on the bottom, but can that be it? Can that be it? I didn't see any feet on the bottom, which is a what which is a tall tale sign that it's not uh charizard right because the charizard feet hang out at the bottom but you never know you never know yo who's ready who's ready for me to go ahead and pull this right now it's a full art it's a full art is it gonna be something we really really want is it the zard here we go one two three oh it's a bonnet it's a bonnet oh gold tooth bonnet that's right man it's a full rgx we'll take that but yo I legitimately, if you guys can see, man, I got the biggest, like, I don't know if y'all can see. I got the biggest goosebumps in the world right now. That was absolute uh, nerve-wracking, man. <laughs> Yo, that's absolutely nerve-wracking for me right now. Bennett, guys, we got our first full R. We got two packs left. It's looking slimmer with that Bennett pull, I'll tell you what. Oh, man, two packs left. Let's let's give Charizard some more, more respect there. Face him up top. <sighs> Man, this is tough. This is a tough moment, man. This is my last two packs. My last two packs in this household. I do have that Hidden Fate TTP, but you guys know I'm not cracking that thing. So essentially, I'm counting these as my last two packs. The anticipation right now is too real. Mewtwo, can you have what it takes to get me that Charizard, man? Do you have what it takes? Guys, smash that like, man. If you guys haven't joined the Blister Break already, help out. Let's get some epic pulls like these, potentially. On some uh, Unified Minds or some Champions Path. Y'all saw the link uh, earlier. Definitely join up. Here we go. Dark Energy and a Snorlax. Last pack, guys. Last pack. This is the bitter part of that sweet moment. This is 
absolutely the bitter part of that sweet moment. Oh my god, man. This is it. Will there be a Charizard in the Charizard artwork? Is this going to happen? Or is it going to be a day where I clean the whole room up and then I go lay face down in my pillow for a few hours? This is it, guys. <laughs> this is it for me. Oh, man. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm so nervous right now. I'm so nervous. I'm going to be going to Walmart like tomorrow. I'm going to go all the way out to freaking <laughs> Georgia from Central Florida to see if I could snag up some hidden page somewhere. This is it for me, guys. Here we go. Metapod, Pokemon Center Lady, a little Scyther, Ekans, Coughing. Come on, man. Geodude. Uh, is it the next one? No, it's a Slowpoke. Uh, oh, no. Giovanni just exiled us legitimately to the back corner. Said, see you later, alligator. This is that bitter moment right now, Rob Mob. Yo, unbelievable. Banat, man. Banat was that card that really uh, that really threw us there for a loop, guys. No Charizard today. That was it. It is a sad day over here in the... Uh, I don't even know what this place is called in here. My studio, I guess. I don't have a special name for it. But Rob Mob, it is a sad day, man. But dang. Dang, dang, dang. Listen, there's 142 of you guys hanging out with here, and I really, really appreciate that. I know some of y'all came on the back end here. So listen, if I can get to, I don't know, 110 likes, I will open a Champions Path ETB just to open it, to share with you guys. If you guys want some code cards, if you guys want to see some more polls, don't mind doing that at all. If I can get to 120 likes before we end the stream, that'll be the last thing I open. We will call it, guys, because I want to thank y'all for showing up, even for a little bit, and actually have something else to open, since that's it for my Hidden Fate. So, let me know, guys, if you want to go ahead and do that. Drop some likes up in the chat, and then I will open that Hidden Fates ETB. Or, uh, pff, no, I will not open the Hidden Fates ETB. I'll open up the Champion's Path ETB, and then uh, we'll call it a stream, guys. So, thank y'all so much. I can't believe that it didn't happen with that uh, Gyarados box, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, how much is that Rainbow VMAX uh, Charizard nowadays? Pokeju, I believe it is right around that $400, $450 range. It is now finally priced a little bit higher than that shiny Charizard V in some areas, not all areas. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's still it's still a nice card. It's, it's It still is. I, I love it. I think it's going to go down a little bit price uh, here in the next couple weeks as well. But it's just because the reprint of Champion's Path Third Wave is coming soon actually really soon some stores have actually got it and uh yeah pretty much uh what do we got here she's still expensive yeah poke dry agree i mean it's still expensive card i mean especially for a set that just recently came out what was it like a month and a half ago where's that spicy chocolate video dude if i pulled the charizard i would have i would have done it right here on the live stream the uh the spicy chip challenge that i did was on my last live stream for Vivid Voltage, the break. It's an eight hour stream, but the chip happened at the very end of the stream. So, uh, yeah, dude, uh, just check it out on there. You'll see it. I mean, it's at the very, very end. So, guys, we are at 110 likes. We're almost at 100. Did I say 110 or 120? I don't remember what I said, but you know, whatever. Here we go. I'm going to reach back here, guys. I'm going to open it up, and this will be the last thing that we do. Thank y'all for hanging out. If you want the code cards, here you go. They're going to be coming in hot. Appreciate y'all hanging out. Appreciate you guys seeing me uh, basically be saddened by that bonnet because I thought it might have been that epic moment that we were all looking for in celebration. But it's all good. It's the name of the game. It's never a bad day when you open up Pokemon cards. And when when I'm hanging out with you guys, Rob Mob Man, it's, uh, it makes that day even better. So thank y'all so much. Here we go. Champion's Path ETB to finish it up. I'm going to go ahead and fast play these last few pulls and just enjoy the moment. Let's see what my Charizard's looking like here as the uh, promo. Ooh, pretty uh, pretty skinny up top. Pretty skinny up top. Let me go ahead and back him up a little bit. See that little fat bottom he got? He's got a bit of a fat bottom, so definitely not a PSA 10 worthy candidate. But that other one that we got from the first ETB absolutely by far is. So we'll take that. This one. This is definitely a PSA 10 candidate. So Hector. Hector said 110. 110 likes. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Thank y'all for that. Pull that Black Zard. Yo, I actually need another one because I did make that trade with just Poke Fun for the Charizard VMAX, which was absolutely awesome one. And uh, I would love to have another Binder one because I sent off... Okay, spoiler. I said I wasn't going to do it. I sent off my Shiny Charizard V, which I know it's only going to get a 9, but I sent it off to get graded 
because uh, it's a sentimental card for me. It's not really a card that I thought was going to get a 10. It's just that sentimental value that I wanted to take, uh, get it slabbed up for. So that's the reasoning for that. All right, guys. What do we got? Seven more likes, y'all. It's all right. I already cracked into it, man. I already cracked into it. So Robert Osterbloom. Hi, Rob. What's going on, Robert? Man, that is a great name. I think I've seen you in the live chat before. But if I have not, that's a great name, my friend. We share, uh, we share a likely feature, my friend. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the fat bottom. I was thinking you, dude. There is, uh, those, those are big facts, my friend. As I like to say, those are big facts. Paul Carosa. Yo, what did I miss? What's going on, Paul? Paul, you really didn't miss too much. Let's go with that Guardian VMAX. Wait, Guard, Gardevoir VMAX. Let me, uh, let me be, uh, accurate with that name pronunciation. Paul, you didn't miss out too much, man. We got no Charizard. We got the Bennett that teased us that was going to be the Charizard. And, uh, I'm done with Hidden Fates because I'm out of it. Unless I can find some more, I'm out of it. But, hear me out, guys. There's 114 of you all so I can get a good idea of what you guys think. If I do find some more Hidden Fates. Now, put fire emojis if you guys agree. Uh, if I get some more Hidden Fates, do you guys want to see a video of it? Or do you want to see it live? If you guys want to see it live, then smash those uh, fire buttons in the chat. That way I know to go live with my Hidden Fates and not do videos with them. Because I don't mind doing that at all. Hector said, yo, Rob, what artwork is better to you? Gold Star? Oh, man. I, you know, Hector, it's going to be a biased opinion. A really biased opinion. The reason being is I have the shiny Charizard V. I don't have the Gold Star, man. And that card to me is one of those, like, uh, bucket list cards, if you will, right? Uh, I would love to have it in my collection, man. I actually mentioned it, I think, like, four videos ago that it was, you know, if I was going to get a card, that's one of them that I want. It's super expensive. I don't see myself getting it uh, anytime soon <laughs> because it's expensive and I don't have those kinds of funds, but uh, it'd be it'd be nice to have. Tony Sabrete says, nice pull. Thank you, Tony, man. Not bad with that Gardevoir, right? Uh, Gardevoir. Dang, why do I keep saying Gardevoir? That's not the name of the Pokemon. Gardevoir. Gardevoir. Great, great Pokemon to have. All right, so fire chats. Let's go. All right, I promise, guys, if I get some more Hidden Fates, it will be 100% live. 100% live, I will go with those. So don't y'all worry. I'll have y'all hooked up. As I always do, I'll post some kind of post in my uh, live feed on YouTube. And you guys comment on, on the poll. Let me know if you guys are ready to see that stuff open. If I get some, we'll see. That's a product that's just absolutely hard to find. Uh, what you need for that Champions Path Master Set, just Gardevoir Rainbow. Let's go. That's all you need? Is that Gardevoir Rainbow? Dude, that's awesome. I actually have not went over and started my Champions Path uh, Master Set. Like, everything is put off to the side and just needs to get start slapping into binders to uh, essentially fill it out. Altaria. Altaria. The Rainbow Zard you get. Dude, I'd love to get that Rainbow Zard right now. Uh, LMAO, I got Rainbow Charger VMAX from that code card. Let's go, Phoenix! That's what I'm talking about, dude. Congrats on that. Let's go. That's what I like to hear. If you guys are if you guys are taking co cards, let me know what you guys pull if it's something like that. That's awesome stuff. Congrats on that, dude. Hopefully it helps out your uh, your online TCG stuff, man. Tricky Ricky, definitely go live with Hidden Face, bro. I want to see your reaction when you pull that Zara, dude. I don't I don't even I don't even know how I'll react. I don't know if I'm gonna cry. I don't know if I'm gonna laugh. I don't know if I'm gonna yell. I don't know uh, if I'm gonna do a dance or take my shirt off and run a mile around my neighborhood. Not sure exactly what my reaction is going to be, but I'm assuming it's going to be somewhere in that category of some of the stuff I just mentioned. Josh said, I got 44 Hidden Fates booster packs next to me right now. I'm chasing that shiny Charizard too. Josh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, uh, please do. Because first of all, I want to see what you get out of 44 Hidden Fates packs. Because you got to have something spicy in there, right? And second of all, if you do get that shiny Charizard, man, I want to see a picture of that. On your Instagram at some point and you tag me in it man because I if I can't pull it I hope one of y'all out there does <laughs> because it needs to be pulled man it needs to be pulled Josh said good luck man thank you so much dude Yizzy so Rob what would you do or what would it take for you to open that Hidden Fates ETB man it would take a lot right now it might not take a lot for me to open that ETB if I can essentially get some of the reprint stuff if I can get some of the reprint stuff I'll do that as a special I mean, it's going to be legitimately, it will be live, 100%, it'll be live with that ETB, but it's the only thing I'm going to open on that live stream, and I'm going to milk the heck out of that live stream, <laughs> because that 
that ETB right there has been uh, anticipated by many of Rob Bob members that were here early on during my channel, and uh, I've just been I've just been you know saying no to it. So it would be a stream dedicated just to that one ETB, but it all depends on those reprints and if I can get a you know a hold of one maybe. Ah, Marty, I thought there was something in there. I thought I was flashing. Sub me to the buddy, y'all. Paul, appreciate that, man. Yeah, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome, man. Welcome, welcome to this debauchery of an opening right now. I did not pull the Shiny Charge RV, but don't let that skew you away from not subscribing to the channel. We will get that card maybe eventually. Let me not go ahead and say that we're going to get it, but yeah. This is the last two packs, guys. I'm going to go ahead and call it. Thank y'all for hanging out, man. It means the world to me for, like, for real, real. It really does. Ash K, did we pull the Zard? We did not. We got the Bennett, which I thought was going to be the Zard. This card teased me and the rest of everybody that saw that part. Uh, yeah. This guy, man. That guy really, really screwed the pooch for us <laughs> in our given situation. All right, last pack from the Champion's Path ETB. I'm hoping it's a little bit of uh, Mojo Dojo Jojo magic at the end, if you will. Here we go. Greninja is great. And cry because there is a Zard in there. <laughs> Cloak Shadow, use codes Player Scrub for a full art shiny V PTC code. It's for the new tournament. There you go, Cloak Shadow. Hooking that chat up with some uh, special codes. MN, Yizzy Evil. <laughs> Yizzy, Yizzy is evil, man. Uh, Mick Prosper's game and said, I'm just watching you eat a fire chip. Let's do that again, dude. Okay, guys, here we go. Like, go ahead and, and press the record button on your cellular device or on your computer. Do a screenshot. I promise you guys right now, I will eat the world's hottest chocolate live. Live and in your kitchen on whatever device that you're watching me from right now. If I pull the shiny Charizard V, if I get more hidden fates. Now, I have to get more hidden fates first. It's going to be a journey getting it at the right price. But if I do, and if I pull it live, I will also do that chocolate live. I don't know if I'm going to do the challenge like it's supposed to or if I'm going to take that whole thing and shove it in my mouth and potentially die on stream. But it's going to happen. So y'all just stay tuned for that, man. If I can get more hidden fates and if I pull that shiny Charizard, it will be a celebratory moment that I will definitely want to share with you guys. Dreadnought V Full R to finish off this this one, guys. So we did get a little last pack luck there, but not uh, anything too too crazy and spicy. But we'll take it, right? So to recap my hidden fate stuff, I want to recap the, just the hidden fate stuff, and I can really go over the champions path. But this is the hidden fate stuff. It wasn't crazy, man. I opened up. Three tens, two boxes. All we got was a Dark Energy, a Banette, a Matang, a Giovanni's Exile, Rockruff, Gyarados, Ryalu, Fire Energy. That was 20 packs. 20 packs, and that's what we got. Insane in the membrane. <coughs> Excuse me, let me catch up on some chat over here. Andrew said, I noticed recently if you open a pack with a white code card on the back, it will contain something good. All the packs with Green code cards are crap packs. Yes, Andrew, I'm assuming that you are new to the Pokemon community and welcome. Thank you for joining the live stream and welcome to the Pokemon community in general. Yes, Andrew, that's essentially the thing. Unless it's a special set like Champion's Path, like a 3.5, 4.5, where there's Hidden Fades, Champion's Path, they're all going to be white gold cards. Now, if you're opening something like a Cosmic Eclipse, Unbroken Bonds, Vivid Voltage, uh, it will be a uh, a bad pull, if you will, if it's a green code card. If it's a white one, then you're going to get a hit. Now, Vivid Voltage did it right because if you get a green code card, you can still get a great card. Why? Because it has amazing rares, and amazing rares are in the reverse hollow spot. So, um, Andrew, don't count out the Vivid Voltage packs if they're green because you still may get a super rare card, a Rayquaza, a Jirachi, and you're going you're gonna to not just want to, you know, just throw the pack away if it's green. Um, that being said, also look out if you open to Evolutions because you can get a Reverse Hollow Charizard or Reverse Rare Charizard, I should say. And that card is fetching a pretty, pretty penny right here in the open market. So, Andrew, thanks for popping in. Welcome to the Pokemon community and welcome to the Rob Mob. Uh, Phoenix said, yo, what do you think about the ETB sleeves? Do they bend the cards? Because I have some good cards I got back in the Pokemon cards recently. And those are the only ones I have. Phoenix, I use the heck out of them. If I could show you right here, actually, you know what? Here, let me show you something real quick, Phoenix, if you're still in here. I'll pull this up real quick. Let me pull this out. So I have a drawer right here, okay? And it's full of Elite Trainer Boxes sleeves. This is when you see me live. I'm using penny sleeves just because I have them available right now. But um, it's exactly what I use. So don't worry, dude. It has never done anything bad with my cards. I stand by them. I use them. And I think they're really great quality. I think Pokemon does a really great job with them. So Phoenix, use them up, dude. That's what I use. 
Uh, just Pokemon said Walmart prices are up and down. I look every day. They are up and down, but sometimes a lot of third-party vendors will sell stuff on the Walmart website, and the Walmart gets a cut out of it. So make sure that it's not a third-party vendor. Uh, Pokemon said, or Pokemon, <laughs> Yesy Pokemon said, yeah, uh, I think he got us good. Uh, Paul Crozer said, or you could just eat a spicy stuff every time you pull cards, dude. Could you imagine? Uh, I would just have a, a, a terrible stomachache if I did it every single week. I love spicy stuff. I eat spicy stuff all the time, but if it came to like the really spicy stuff, I don't know how my intestines would handle that. Uh, what do we got? Would be a super unique channel. <laughs> Oh, dude, I don't know if I could do that all the time, man. Rob, I'll pick up your Slack and open up some tins later. There you go, Yizzy. That's what I'm talking Are you going to go live later, dude? If you are, I'm going to pop into that for sure. I'm definitely going to pop into um, Just Catch Him's Live as well. Magnificent said, I got two boxes Shiny V coming in Tuesday. Thinking of starting my first stream with though. Let's go, Magnificent69. Listen, if you don't follow me, Magnificent, follow me on Instagram. Uh, send me a DM, and I'm going to go ahead and follow your channel, dude. So hit me up on that uh, 100%, okay? Speedy Pokemon said, is $50 too much for a tin? Speedy Pokemon, yes. I'm not going to pay $50 for a tin. Promise you that 100% uh, that I'm not going to pay that much for a tin. I'd consider a $30 a tin. I'd consider $35 a tin. $50 a tin, out of my price range right now. I'm not going to spend that. Just Pokemon said, and Cosmic Cliss, first run. Uh, what do we got? We got McPost of Gaming 7. Can we snag 140 likes? Ooh, that'd be awesome, guys. If you just pop it in, definitely hit that like button. We are going to finish up the stream soon, but a like will always help, right? Thank you for the like if you do decide to want to do that. And if you don't want to, totally understand. If you're new to the channel and you don't want to subscribe, you just want to hang out and uh, see me talk for the rest of the end of the stream, then you're more than welcome to. And thank you for just popping in and giving me the time of day. Robert Osterboom said, thanks for the content, Rob. Dude, Robert, thank you for joining in, my friend. And thank you guys, everyone that's in here, for joining as well. Really, really do appreciate that. I'm sorry I couldn't get the shiny Charizard. I really, really am. It pains me deeply. Trust me, it really does. But, dang, we'll, we'll give it another go. We'll give it another go. Phoenix said, okay, thank you. I asked that because mine came in a very folded and bent, but I am straight out to make sure. Yeah, Phoenix, they'll, they'll be fine, man. They, they will be fine. That's usually how they come with. Uh, let me go ahead and reach into this EDB real quick. And uh, show you. Let me straighten out the camera here. Yeah, I mean, they they this one is a little bit better, but they typically get a little slight bend to them, so I wouldn't be worried about it too much. It's just the packaging that they're in. Uh, what do we got? We got the real Bugger Man. What's up, Rob? Popped up and dropped some luck. All the best, brother. Thank you so much, dude. Rob, or I mean, uh, real Bugger Man, dude. We uh, we 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 struck out, my friend. We struck out, my friend. Derek Key, you will get it next time. Awesome live, brother. Derek Key, thank you for popping in, my friend. Thank you, thank you so much. Really, it means the world. Jaden said, how can you tell if a Pokemon card is fake? Jaden, there's a few ways. You really got to look out for discoloration. You got to feel the quality of the card. Is it slick? Is it rough? What do the edges look like? And if you have an abundance of them, and it happens to be like, let's say, I don't know, like an Oddish or something like that, right? And it came out of the pack. Take one of those, rip it. And if it has a black film down the middle of it, you know it's 100% real. If it doesn't, you know it's fake. Also, you can do a light test. So basically take a really strong, high-powered mag light, if you will. Take your card, put the mag light to the back of it. If it shines through, it's fake. If it does not shine through, it is real. So those are a couple ways you can tell if your Pokemon cards are fake. Uh, Mallory said, um, Taco Bell. Ooh, dude, I love me some Taco Bell, man. I'm not wrapping the Taco Bell shirt tonight, but I can definitely use a little bit. Yo, you just finished or you still got stuff to open? Run, see, I just finished up, man. But thank you for popping for in just for a little bit. We are finished up. I'm going to answer or finishing out the rest of the chat. And we are going to call it a stream. $50 is bad. You won't find any less. Mallow, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm going to test my luck out here in the retails. I just don't want to spend that $50 price uh, yet. I mean, still, it's expensive, man. It's expensive for me. A lot of collectors, too. At $50 a pop is expensive. That's, what, four packs inside. Essentially, you're paying $12 a pack. Uh, a little bit more, twelve fifty a pack. Um, my math could be off, but somewhere around there. Uh, Kenji said, "What about evolutions? Each card is slightly different color. Yeah, just because they're trying to make that play on uh, the vintage stuff, right? But same thing. Do that mag light check. Stick the card to the back. If it shines through, then it's fake. If it does not, it's real. Also, take a random card, if you will, rip it. See if that black film is down the middle." Um. Uh, Pokechubbles said, I am a mod for Pokedoll. That is awesome, Pokechubbles. Awesome. Never a bad thing to have a mod in the chat, my friend. Great, great stuff. Guys, before we finish up, if you want to get in on the blister break for Unified Minds, it's going to be on the 14th. 
Go to hydropompokestop.com and buy them up. There's still a bunch for sale. Don't buy them up last minute and just miss out on a spot. $7 a piece for Unified Minds I think is a great price and hopefully we can get y'all some good cards that you're looking for. And then after that, it's going to be Champion's Path, also $7 a piece. And that's going to run on the 28th, so after Christmas on that Monday. So definitely tune in for those. Guys, thank y'all for popping in so much, man. I really, really appreciate y'all. It means the world to me. And I'm trying to see if I missed out on anything else uh, on the chat. Pokechubbies said, he sent me to check you out. Dude, Pokechubbies, man, awesome. Thank you for popping in, my friend. We just finished up, unfortunately, but I will be looking forward to, to seeing you in more live streams, man. So thank you for popping in, and thank you for him, you know, for, for sending you out, Pokedoll. Awesome, awesome stuff. Guys, thank y'all, each and every one of you, for popping in. This was a blast. I didn't pull the Charizard. Yes, it really sucks, but we're going to give it a go again. I will be on the lookout for more hidden baits at the right price for me personally, and we will try to pull that fire breathing dragon rob mob until next time rob mob see y'all later